Hey there everyone, this is Lucky7DX, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold Random Nuzlocke. In the last episode, basically we climbed Bell Tower, we're here on the top, and it is time. The Kimono Girls are waiting, we're going to start the ceremony to summon Ho-Oh, and to try to catch it, and hopefully not after we do the Master Ball. Like I said last time, I'm going to save after this cutscene, and um, probably going to do multiple attempts to catch the Ho-Oh without using the Master Ball, and eventually if I can't, I'll just use the Master Ball. So there might be like a failure montage for attempts to catch Ho-Oh. If any Pokemon die during the failures, I'm not going to count them, because, you know, my primary goal is to catch the Ho-Oh. If Pokemon die in my successful attempt, though, I will count them. So, basically I need to not get a Pokemon killed, which is going to be, while catching a Ho-Oh, which is going to be almost impossible. In fact, I am pretty tempted to just use the Master Ball and get it over with, because Ho-Oh is probably the most important one to catch. For a certain reason that I'll probably get to later in this video, because after I catch the Ho-Oh, really the last step to do is to go to Kanto. And there's a lot to get done before I go to Kanto, so there's probably going to be a couple of videos of like extra stuff like we had like 20 videos ago, because, you know, it, it's that time again where we just sort of wrap a bunch of loose ends here. This LP is dragging out forever, I mean, it's almost it's like already over 40 episodes, we're not even at the LE4. We still have all of Kanto left to go, my goodness. And all the extra stuff, but, um, you know, I want to show this game off pretty thoroughly, and I think that's what my plan is. That cutscene, by the way, was freaking amazing. For I, I just thought that cutscene was really cool. Like the whole Ho event itself is just really, really cool. So, well, let's just talk to these people instead. This is all we can do. All right, uh, they all say the same thing. You're all conformists. So I'm gonna save, and then we'll catch Ho. -Oh. Be right back. This Ho. -Oh, let me tell you about this Ho. -Oh. He refuses to be caught. But uh, I went down and got some dust balls because it's night and that'll give me a better chance of catching him. Also brought Arbok who has a choice scarf, with Glare to get the paralysis on him. And then Slowbro I leveled up to 41 because I learned Slack off and with that I can pretty much take this Ho-Oh one-on-one -on -one and win. Because all Ho's offensive moves are fire and psychic types and Slowbro can just take him easily without a problem. So that's why I'm not too worried about Slapper Zane because 1v1 Slowbro beats Ho-Oh. And uh, because of that, you know, I could just kill him and move on without losing a Pokemon. So, I know it's not a Nuzlocke Spirit, but you know, when you're doing an LP of a Nuzlocke, you sort of have to bend the rules a bit for both to make the ends meet. Because, you know, LPs are just really entertaining. And what's more entertaining than catching a freaking ho -oh. So we're going to go for the Choice Scarf Glare. Hopefully not going to, he's going to be paralyzed and not be able to attack us. Come on, paralysis please? Or, or you can miss. You know, that is also a viable alternative, and I will take it. So, switching out to Kalora now, who will pretty much show this ho -Oh's what's up. So we're going to have a long match of Slowbro versus ho -Oh. But, uh, that kind of rhymes, but, um, you know, I have, like, 26 balls total now, which is, should be more than enough to do it. I'm gonna be dirt poor after all this, but, uh, you know, you gotta do what you have to do to, in this game, and, uh, Hitmonchan is definitely worth the 90,000 people. What else do you need, Pete? What, what do you need money for in this game, really? Exactly, so I may as well make use of it, because there's really no other Pokemon that would ever need to spend so much money on. Of course, the guy named Toucans would be so expensive. I'm sorry, I take Toucans, I love you. Anyways... <laughs> As you can see, Slowbro takes Fire Blast and Extra Sensories like a boss. I think we're at two and two at two of those right now. I'm not even at half health of taking both of those, so I'm just gonna keep going because a crit Fire Blast would kill, but anything else, even a crit Sacred Fire, would not kill me at this range. So, okay, that's gonna be okay, and uh, he's gonna be paralyzed. As you can see, I put leftovers on Slo uh, leftovers on Slowbro. I'll put all the items back to normal after this battle because you know that would make sense. But I'm gonna go for the Confusion. I, she should love it from this range. Ho has a massive special defense, so yeah, he's gonna be fine. Gets, he gets a sunny day up now, but uh, at this point, you know, I'm 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 pretty uh, I don't really need to worry about attacking him anymore. Um, and yeah, I could take a sunny day boosted fire blast, a sunny day boosted fire blast from a Ho, -Oh, and I could take it. And a sacred a sunny day boosted sacred fire is not gonna do anything. So Nelly's at this range. Well, I brought the dust balls. And these are supposed to be really good at, at night, and he's pretty much at a smidgen and paralyzed. So come on. Give it to me. Dust, dust balls, come on. I bought you for a reason, dust balls. Breaking my balls, dust balls. Breaking my balls, dust balls. That sounds kind of funny. But uh, at this point, I mean, you've seen my strategy pretty much. Uh, you, you see how I get him down there. And um, obviously, if I get burned, I'll use the. I, I guess I'll keep it in for a little bit. And uh, once I get low, you know, I'll do the whole slack off thing. And once we get to like a good rhythm, we'll uh, go for the speed up after that. So, just gonna go for dust balls, though. Maybe I get the catch here. Come on, dust balls. Okay, we got one there. That's that's an improvement. 
we can just improve a little bit each time, I'll be okay. All right, it's a fire blast from a hoe in the s I think it's still in the sun. So look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Steel takes it like a boss. At this point, he's par he's paralyzed. He's paralyzed. So I can just go for a slack off, and I'm guaranteed to go first. So there's really nothing you can do. I will heal more from the slack off than I will from uh, a fire blast. So unless he crits or something, um, which is possible and kind of scary. Even if he gets the burn on this turn, I can still just go ahead and uh, slack off and be okay. So, look at that. Still perfectly fine. Did get the burn. I'm still going to live it because uh, leftovers will go first. So, I'll definitely live it. I think I'd live a burn anyway because uh, when it's like... It's uh, at 12%? 12% the hell of it? Something, something like that? 17? I think that's... A, is that around 12% or is that like... That might be like eight, or an eighth. I forget exactly what burn is. But, okay, that, that beeping's annoying. Let's get rid of it. Um... I'm just gonna go for the slack off. If he goes for a fire blast, I might be in a little bit of trouble, but I think I'll be okay. Uh, don't go for a fire blast. Okay, sunny day is gonna be fine. Uh, and, the, and the sun's gone now at this point. So, and he only has one more fire blast PP left at this point too, which is his most threatening move for against Slowbro. So uh, once we get past that point, we're gonna be okay. Just for safety, I'm gonna go for another slack off just to get back up to full. I'll heal the burn after that, and then I think we'll just go ahead and start the speed up for the uh, ball catch after that, because. That's essentially what happens with this fight, is just, you know, Slurbo can take anything this ho has to offer. You know, disre the burn can be a pain in the ass. I'm only using items to really heal off burns, which, you know, if that's all I have to use items for against the ho I'm okay with this. So we're gonna go for, uh, burn heal, because, you know, burn heals, they are a very important thing. Gonna get rid of the burn, and at this point, uh, extra sensory's not gonna do much of anything. It is kind of annoying, because both of his moves have a 30% chance to burn. Also, I realized, if you have a Hound Doom, which, you know, possible to get in gold. Um, dark fire resists his, or a uh, flash fire hound doom would resist his set completely. Like, this ho could not touch it. So that's arguably the best thing to bring into a fight if you have a hound doom. So, uh, go hound doom! It's a Pokemon that I thought I always thought was pretty cool, but I've never really had a chance to use. Come on, dust ball! Uh, Alright, well at this point we're gonna go into speed up mode. So, speed up mode! Oh wait, 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 never mind. Uh, first, just watch how much a sacred fire does. It's not boosted by the sun, but look at this. That's like 25 damage only. A sacred fire from a ho -Oh. Wait, that wasn't was that in the sun? That was in the sun. So like, holy crap! He just does not. He just doesn't care. Slowbro just does not care. It's awesome. I love it. I love you, Slowbro. You're awesome. So uh, basically, speed up time. Go. Oh, this is his last fire blast. So he's out of fire blast. Oh, I'm not going to 
right, we're, well, we're just gonna keep going until he struggles himself to death, which is gonna happen at some point. Because all he has left is extra sensory. It's not doing much good. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! 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 Ho was caught. Ho was caught. Don't care how many balls it wasted, but Ho was caught. Sort of wasted about like fifteen thousand p on you. I just said p on you. But Hobo has at long last been caught. So I need a name, and my brain is shot. So what name am I going to give him? Um. I don't know what to call him at this point. What 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 do you do when he's just he's taken all of your soul and heart and spent two hours two hours like what do you even call him at that point? I don't know. I'm just gonna call him Ka 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 Ka. His name is gonna be Ka 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 because that's the first thing that came to my head, which is kind of a reference to. Uh, how Titus sounds when he laughs in Japanese. We've also caught it! We are wonderful! We are amazing! We caught ourselves a hello! And it's awesome! And I don't know how much I'm gonna speed up this video, but I caught a ho -oh, But I caught a ho -oh. Yeah, alright, alright, I'm gonna save now because if I don't, bad things will happen, I'm sure. So, saving! Actually, I just, um, I guess I was gonna, I was just gonna cut, but I just realized, believe it or not, you can dig in a tower. I, I don't know how that works, but that's how you can get out of here really fast. So go me. Hello, Jack. I have no idea who you are, but um, but but you're Jack. So yeah. Hi, Jack. How's it going? So now that we have a ho, -ho we can do some pretty cool stuff. So let's go ahead and check out this beauty known as Ka 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 Ka, because I I suck at names. That's just really the only excuse I have. So, um, and I also have to train uh, this Turtwig at some point, and the Tyro. We'll be doing that very soon. But where are you, ho Oh, He's bold, which I think is actually a good nature for No, it's not. It lowers his attack and raises his defense. It's actually a shitty nature for him. And I don't even care. Wait, what does the Sacred Ash do? I forget. I don't remember what the Sacred Ash does, so we're going to take it from him. And uh, we're going to put him on our t uh, team for a little bit, because we need him... For stuff, so we're gonna go ahead and let ourselves be followed around by a giant ho for a while, who I believe does not show up indoors. No, he doesn't. But uh, we'll just go ahead and heal up quickly. And I'm gonna meet you. Well, actually, no. We'll go outside so you can see what a ho looks like, and then I will meet you around. I, I will meet you uh, someplace where we need to use ho oh because that's what we're going to do in this video next. Uh, I basically, I have a bunch of things I have in mind for this video, and we'll do all of or most of them. So look at this. It's a ho oh. We are followed by a giant phoenix because we caught it and his name is Ka Ka Ka. What do you think about that, Ka Ka Ka? He's wandering around. You not even have you don't even make a noise. I'm like standing on top of you. I should teach him fly. I should make him my fly. No, I can't make him my fly slave because that's against the rules. But um I will meet you guys down where I need to be, so uh be right back. I guess we can quickly show this just because this is what Hoa looks like in battle. Because, you know, why not? We've earned this. Look at this sexy thing! It's a ho -oh. It's gonna burn everything! Oh, this is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I guess while we're um, still talking, I should quickly check to make sure what the uh, the deal is with uh, the whole Sacred Ash. Because I forget. I think it's just a key item or something like that. Um, but let's just check quickly. It's, it didn't show up here, so is it a key item? I don't remember, actually. No, where, where, where is it then? Oh, no, it's a healing item, isn't it? That's right, it's a healing, it's a, it's a, it'd be under medicine, right? Yeah, because it heals HP fully and revives all fainted Pokemon. So in other words, I can't use it. Yay! All right, guys, so we are here at the uh, one, of, one of these little unknown places, and in here, this is the one that said Ho-Oh. And because we have a Ho-Oh in the lead spot, it will now open, which will give us access to the items inside. It's that simple. Which is a Lepiberry, which is uh, good for recovering PP, I guess, if you need to. Uh, we got ourselves a Life Orb, which is the reason why you want to come here, because Life Orb is just amazing. Life Orb will basically give you uh, 
I and mean, you also get an, an extra charcoal. But Life Orb is, um, you lose HP per attack, but it gives you a massive power boost, which is awesome. So I'll definitely be giving that to someone, because I, I do find it to be very useful. Um, probably someone like Hitmonchan, because uh, Hitmonchan can actually gain, uh, Hitmonchan can actually be able to gain, oh, and also we get this, uh, need to walk with them, oh wait, we, we humans need to walk with humans? So humans are with this? We humans need to walk with them, we leave here for the sake of them. I think that's what it says. Cool! Anyways, uh, where's the other hole? There's the other hole! Falling down here! Excellent. Um, I don't remember what I was saying. But yeah, Hitmonchan would be good because I'm going to give him Drain Punch. Because I think it would be an Iron Fist Hitmonchan, so Drain Punch should be boosted and thus actually be worthwhile. So uh, that would actually be beneficial because he can kill his HP back. So uh, that would probably be something I could do. That's That might be the plan for the life orb. But that's a very good item. Definitely worth getting once you have a ho -Oh. So, uh... Go Heart Gold for being able to do that. Wait, are you a photo dude? You are a photo dude. We're going to have a photo of ho because we can. Because it's awesome. Because we can. Because yes. Because yeah. We want that. And then I think the last thing I want to do is look at that. He just covers the whole thing. Oh, I need to get like an all legendary picture at some point. That'd be awesome. But uh, anyways, I'm going to head now to the Whirl Islands. We're going to catch a Pokemon there to end this video. So... Yeah, that's the plan. Or, well, maybe not to end this video. I'm going to need to see how much I'm cutting out. But yeah, meet you there. Alright, so I actually lied. What I want to do in this video is actually to catch another legendary, which, as you can see here, is the Raikou down there. Now, you guys might be wondering, where the hell did Entei go? I have no idea where he went, actually. He just sort of mysteriously vanished into thin air. I must have maybe killed him accidentally when I was training, but... Or glitched him out somehow, because, I mean, obviously I've encountered these guys plenty of times while training. But, um, I wouldn't be that stupid, would I, to have killed the Entei? Maybe. Maybe I am that stupid, but for whatever reason is gone, not a big deal, because he'll respond once he beat the Elite Four. So don't worry, you can't ever perma-lose these guys, I'm pretty sure. If, if uh, you can, that's a glitch that I haven't done. But as you can see, the Raikou is there. Whenever you change route, the way this works is the Roman Pokemon will change whenever you change route. So as you can see, he's moved up there now. So if we head down here, he will have moved, you know, over there. So he's actually getting kind of closer. What if we uh, go over here, perhaps? He will have... Oh, he's down there now. So it sort of just kind of like, goes back and forth. You can kind of like uh, go back and forth between the routes like multiple times just to sort of mix him up a bit. And you, you'll look and he'll be uh, all the way up there now. So I guess he just somehow passes in the meantime. So uh, that's the way route... Raikou, yes, I'm just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep calling him Raikou now, aren't I? That's the way Raikou, Raikou, whatever the hell his name is, <laughs> I can't talk anymore. That's the way it works, so basically, um, basically, we'll just have to, I'm gonna cut to, uh, when we actually get him in, our, in, in the same route we're at. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a sec. Alright, I think we finally have a case where Raikou's in the same route as us. So what you want to do at this point is put a repel on, because it will... Basically, only Raikou can show up in the wild. You go into a patch of grass, and you get him. So this is going to be the Raikou at level 40, which is the one we're looking for. As you can see, I've already weakened him in the past, just from uh, all the training I've done in the past. So uh, I guess it's time to go ahead and fight him. I'll go ahead and actually save for a second, though, because listen to this music. This music is amazing. Okay, yeah, yeah, we know, we know. His attack's lowered, blah, blah. Just this music is awesome. I love it. But anyway... So every time you encounter Raikou, you get a little chance to fight him, which is why I've taken advantage of um, running into him and all the training I've done in the past and whittle him down a bit. This is the chance where I'm going to go ahead and use Glare on him and get him paralyzed. And then all it's going to take is a little bit more lower rate and I can actually start catching him. So, uh, yay us. But he flees whenever you uh, encounter him right away. So after that, he goes to a completely new area. So now we need to go find him again. So be right back. Well, look at that. We're right on top of him again. So uh, my repel's still on. That's how easy it was. So, from here, uh, I'm sure an acid won't kill him from here. So, we can go just go ahead and uh, wound him a little bit and wear him down even more. So, Raikou, Raikou, Raikou. We will catch you eventually. Don't you worry. Uh, I'm just going for acids. I feel like that's the safest move to go for this point. Yeah, another acid should be good to go from here. So, once again, we hunt him more. So, one trick I've noticed is... Uh, he doesn't change when you go through one of those little, like, gate things, like the one right behind me. He doesn't actually change location then. So you can take advantage of that to easily, um, sort of corner him. 
So it's only when you go through between two routes that don't have a gate in between. Or a route in a town, or any two locations that don't have a gate in between, he changes. Which just makes things a lot easier, so one more acid, we can get him low enough to, uh... To, well, catch. So, acid, go! And... That should be good enough. So... We will go ahead, hunt him down one more time. Well, we're here in the first route, and that is where Rao... Rai... Rao Cow, yes. That's where Rao Cow is. And uh, we're gonna catch Rao Cow with our Quick Ball, because, uh, well, that seems to be the best option at this moment. Um, quick Balls have a higher... Basically, it has a higher rate of any other ball I have besides the Master Ball on the first turn, which is why it generally doesn't work, because what would you ever catch on the first turn? Except for these ones. They're actually pretty good, so maybe? Oh, come on. Come on. There we go! Uh, Rao Cow was caught. It's so, now that I've said Rao Cow, I can never say him as Raikou ever again. It has to be Rao Cow now, it's just too similar. It's just too perfect! So, we need a, a name for him. We're gonna go with, uh... Would that fit? I think it will. Well, I think it does. Yes, I think it does. It's gonna be, uh, well, I should probably be, uh... Do we need lowercase? Because, you know, lowercase is for... All caps is for squares! Ah, uh, Thundercats... Uh, I was gonna put Thundercats in, but that doesn't fit. So, darn! You don't exactly work very well, Mr. Mr. Guy. I don't know what to name you. Hang on a second. Well, actually, if we're gonna go with the Thundercat theme, we can call him this, then. Why? Because I love finding stupid names to give to the Legendary, so he's gonna be Snarf! <laughs> I haven't seen Thundercats in forever. I didn't really watch it that much as a kid, though, so... This has been Random Moments of Lucky 70X. Uh, stay tuned next time, where we talk about fish. Now, uh, next time we're gonna go up to some World Islands and basically wrap up a few little uh, things. I'm probably gonna also put the uh, all the trainer... And we're gonna, uh, basically, the plan is, gonna catch some more Pokemon next video and wrap up some loose ends. There's gonna be some training, and then I'm probably gonna have a bonus video with all the trainers that have called asking for rematches. And then after that, we finally go to Kanto. So, uh, almost time, guys. But this has been Lucky70X. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.